Morning everyone, welcome to Wonder Girls. We're going to look back on the insane Champions League matches the last couple of days. Wow. And also we're going to talk about Eric Dyer. Does he deserve an England place? Worst managerial decision that's ever happened in football. And you have to feel for Harry Kane. <sighs> so we're going to go back to the Tuesday night Champions League match against PSG versus Borussia Dortmund. And Borussia Dortmund won 1-0. What a performance by Borussia Dortmund. Honestly, this was actually insane. PSG are out again. Their Champions League season is over. Last season, they had Mbappe, Neymar and Messi and still didn't win it. PSG are ever going to win the Champions League because Mbappe is going next season and he's going to Real Madrid. That team is going to look absolutely ridiculous. You've got Jude Bellingham, you've got Vinicius Jr, you've got Mbappe now. I could list off about eight more, but that team is just going to dominate for the next... 20 years so Borussia Dortmund won 2-0 on aggregate what a performance by them again um unbelievable they're in the final so it's going to be the Jude Bellingham final because Real Madrid what a game last night where do I start in this game so Real Madrid won 2-1 against Bayern Munich Bayern Munich opened the scoring with Alfonso Davis in the 68th minute the worst managerial mistake ever would be to bring off your top goal scorer and one of your best midfielders so in the 84th minute Thomas Tuchel brings on Thomas Muller and brings off Musiala and then brings off Harry Kane when you're 1-0 up against Real Madrid who are who always score late. I do not understand this decision. That potentially is a sackable offence in its own right. <laughs> There's rumours of him going to Man United. So and then in the 81st minute, Real Madrid brings on Joselu. Bear in mind... This guy's played for Stoke. No, no offence to Stoke. And apparently he scored four goals in 27 games. And then comes on seven minutes later and scores. Massive VAR decision. They got it right, obviously. And in the 91st minute, they score again. And it's the same guy. Imagine not scoring for your club for ages and then just scoring two and the winner in the Champions League semi-final to put you into the final unbelievable that last 10 minutes was probably up there with one of the greatest champions league moments 100 percent. and then right at the very end Bayern munich nearly got a goal there was no var check it looked very close but apparently the linesman raised his flag and then just the referee blew surely there'll be a var check i don't understand why not they might have a chance to complain but personally i think bringing off harry kane and that musiala decision was probably the talking point of the night, genuinely. Imagine what Harry Kane's feeling like, honestly. He moves to Bayern Munich to, to obviously win trophies. So the last time Bayern Munich didn't win a trophy, Harry Kane was playing for Millwall. And he's moved to Bayern Munich this season to win trophies. And he hasn't won any this year. Losing the title to Bayer Leverkusen, lost his first game when he joined the club, and now losing to the semi-final against Real Madrid. Honestly, banter aside, you genuinely have to feel for him. Honestly, honestly. And you know, it's a kick in the teeth. He's just won the golden boot. And the golden boot's a cannon. You've got to feel for him, man. There is England in the Euros coming up and hopefully, you know, we can do something there because that'd be a brilliant, I think. Like if he won the trophy for England, I think that, that'd be it. That'd be amazing. But Eric Dyer last night. Oh, do you know what? I think he's in for a shout for the England lineup, to be honest. Everyone was bantering him moving over to like Bayern Munich. But he's done really well. Like, as an Arsenal fan, when we played them like two weeks ago, I was like, Eric Dyer in defence? What, up against Martinelli and Saka? Easy. But he like absolutely ran the show, to be honest. We'll be covering the uh, Champions League final on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. Yeah, just thought I'd talk about it. Nice one. In a bit.